theory. So it's, it's, it's not gone away. It's just okay. become more complicated, I would say. Well, thanks for catching me up on this. I, at this conference, you're giving a, a talk on black holes. Yeah. And there was some recent announcement, the biggest jet from a black hole ever discovered ever, yeah. ever. Uh, I, I, when I was asked about it by the press, I simply said, there's always a biggest jet in the universe. And so now this one is that. It's, it's the A380. The, yeah. Okay. The, so uh, did, Airbus A380 is a fantastic aircraft. Did I <laughs> undersell the significance of this huge jet? So what if it's the biggest one, unless there's some interesting physics that's coming out of it? The area that I have, I share a PhD student who's working in, in the area, is more, is more theoretical. It's about quantum information, the way that information behaves inside and outside a black hole, what happens to things that fall in. But um, in terms of the astrophysical work, the, if you go back, you know, not long ago, we didn't really have any observation of how uh, things behave in the vicinity of black holes. And so I would put it in that box. We've got several observations okay. now. We've got the radio telescope observations from the Event Horizon collaboration that are showing us how the magnetic field.